What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we actually have something that I have featured like ages ago and it's also included in the zero to 10 million gold guide and if you haven't picked that one up yet you can still get it for 50% off. Basically a book that I started to make a year ago and have improved ever since. So it contains the best ways that I personally use in order to acquire uh, multiple gold caps. So Make sure you use code Shadowlands and check it out. It will be linked down below in the description. But you can also click it like up in one of the corners right here. So in today's video, class specific farm. Starting off with the mage specifics. And we're going to be talking about the polymorph tombs. Now, if I go in the auction house and I search for polymorph, you can see that there's the monkey, the black cat, polar bear cub, porcupine. But you also have the turtle one and the penguin one. Like and those are absolutely insane, like half a million to a million gold each. They're really, really sick. So how do you obtain them? What's the requirements? It's very, very easy. Now, in order to get these to drop in the first place, and the reason why it's class specific is because they will only drop on a mage. So every farm that I'll show to you guys right now, you need to be on a mage. Otherwise, the item literally can't drop. So the first one off being the polymorph monkey one, it's only a thousand gold in my realm. I have, however, sold it for 10k, 15k. Because if there's none up on the auction house or very few, you can just flip them around and sell them for that. Uh, so before you go out and do it, make sure that you check the price on it and see the quantity on your auction house. But it drops from any monkey in Pandalan. So the spot that I use is right here in Valley of the Four Winds, just on these two buildings right here. Just kill every single monkey around. They spawn super, super fast, so you usually don't run out of mobs when you're doing this one. And uh, they drop relatively frequently, which is why, well, one of the reasons why they don't cost that much gold. Now, once you have farmed this one, if you want to farm this one, if the price is right, you want to move on to the next one that you can get in Pandalan. And that is the, the good one, one of the good ones, the Porcupine Polymorph Tomb. Now, this one drops in the Jade Forest or any other panda zones that has Porcupine mobs. Now, pretty much this entire discovered area right here on my map of the Jade Forest is filled with porcupine mobs you could just route the entire zone kill every single porcupine that you find and eventually you will get porcupines they're not that hard to obtain now once you move out of uh, pandalan you should move over to north friends and you have the polar bear uh, polymorph tomb that can drop from polar bears and dragon blight I personally find this spot the best right next to the Crystal Vice because they hyper spawn. So it's a very popular farm to do with five people because you can kill them extremely fast. But even doing it solo, you will always have mobs up to kill. Just roam this area right here, kill every single polar bear that you find on a mage and you will definitely get it. Now after that, if you're feeling lucky... You could farm the uh, Tomb of Polymorph Penguin one. Now, this was the hardest one to figure out because these tombs got removed from the game, right? And then they were re-added into the game later on. So we had to figure out where you could get these. And I killed every single penguin in the game a million times. Couldn't figure it out. Luckily, some people in my community managed to get it. And it dropped off the rare spawn called Pengu Pingu that spawns uh, king ping even that spawns on this island right here so this one is tough to get because the drop chance of getting the tomb is super low and then it can only drop from a rare spawn i mean that's why it's expensive though so i used to have a mage camped out, like on this guy and i would just log in every now and then and kill him but i still personally haven't been able to get it now the black cat that you guys saw a lot of people make gold in that one. That's a lazy one to make gold on. Because you can literally just buy it from a vendor in Dalaran and just put it up on the auction house and sell it to lazy people. Uh, so that leaves us with the last one, the most expensive one, which is the Tomb of Polymorph Turtle. Now, this one can be fished. The only way to obtain it is by fishing in pools in Cataclysm zones like Tul Barad, Uldum, Twilight Highlands, for instance. And it's super hard to get. Like, I know people that have received it and sold it for like five, six hundred thousand gold. But like, when they tell me the amount of hours they've spent, like, in order to obtain it, 
the gold per hour it just it, it isn't good enough you can always get lucky though and get it the first hour but like let's face this the majority of us won't be able to do that so i would stick to uh the monkey one if the price is good the porcupine one in the jade forest and then I would move over to North Friends and get the Polar Bear one. That's what I personally do. And I've made a lot of gold on it. So that was it for today's video. If you guys want more class-specific farms, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. And you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. And of course, don't forget to check out the 0 to 10 million gold guide where everything like this and more is already packed into it. So... Thanks for watching and I will see you all back in on tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.